Welcome Star Wars fans all across the galaxy. This is Uneducated Star Wars Talk, brought to you by the Uneducated Network. I'm your host Chris Lambert, and thanks for making me a part of your day. So in the last couple of days, last shot, a Han and Lando story got released, and so far I'm a couple chapters in, and so far it's a good read. Not the greatest book so far, but I'll leave it time for me to finish it to reserve my judgment for that. But so far, it's a great book. Some of the best times in the book uh, so far. Like I said, I'm a couple chapters in, so this is just like my first thoughts. I'll get my actual review review in the, maybe in a couple of days after I'm finished with it. But to start it off, it's, it's a great book. Land, the writing for Lando is always great in the books. And uh, Mark Thompson, the narrator, and shout out to uh, Daniel Jose Oda, the uh, writer of the book, did a great job so far. I'm really enjoying it. Not really many boring spots where I'm at. Like sometimes some books uh have some spots to where it's it's a drag getting through a certain part or uh you're not really feeling the writing for certain characters or something like that. So far I'm really loving Lando's uh writing. I really love Han. Just, uh, and the narrator as well do a great job. Mark Thompson he do a lot of the Star Wars books and he also does a great job with his impersonating the uh the characters and everything. So Han is real spot on. Lando sounds great with his uh, smooth talking. It's not even just the uh, narration of it with Lando. It's also the writing. I think Lando's writing is really, really good. And it got me really excited about him in the uh, new Solo movie as well. But like I said, the uh, writing is real well. Some of the best times I've had in the book is earlier on in the book. You get to see Han and Ben... Being Father Han, uh, uh, Ben, get to see some around the house stuff when Mon Mothma uh, calls and Han has to answer and Ben is crying and all that. Like, all that was just great writing to me and get to see some of that everyday life that we never really got to see with Leia and Han and we got some good back and forth with him. Like, we got a, a little look into the uh, Han and Leia's relationship, which was uh, great because we didn't get none of that on uh, on screen. Like, we got a hug and you know, that, that sort of thing, but we got to see a uh, uh, regular marriage life of Han and Leia a little bit in the book, and that's really enjoyable to me. You get to see, a little, uh, like I say, that back and forth between them, just humanizing them and letting, them, letting, letting us take a peek into their relationship, and uh, we see that they still have been at this, uh, he's still really, really small. He mouthing off some words to uh Lando, uh, like he calls him Uncle Lando and stuff like that, so he is talking a little bit. Uh, I don't know exactly how many years before The Force Awakens it is, because they keep jumping back from uh, from the story that they're trying to tell. Han goes, takes this piece from this big mobster, I can't think of his name right now, but they haven't actually met him in the book uh, where I met yet, but... They were uh, trying to get this piece of equipment that Han might have took from a, a guy doing a past job with. Sana Solo, she makes her appearance in the book, and that's big because she's a character from the comic books that a lot of the fans wasn't really feeling because uh, Han, her and Han was married. Turns out it was a fake wedding and all that, but you can check the comics out for, uh, for that story, but... Uh, Leia mentions that your, your other wife, and then, like I say, some that is some of the best dialogue in the book so far is the back and forth between Han and Leia, Han and uh, Han and Lando, uh, Han and Ben, because I'm really enjoying that as a father myself. I'm getting to see Han Solo do that sort of thing, his around the house thing with Ben, and it, it's just like I said, I can't overstated like like i said it's not one of my favorite books so far but it is doing a damn good job of keeping me in and uh the actual job that they're trying to do um it seems like like i said it seems like they're going back and forth from like 10 years prior because lando gets hemmed up about some equipment that got stolen and they know that uh, whoever took it was in the falcon they hem him up because he's the registered owner of the falcon so he goes him him high up about it and uh, we get them trying to get get into the mystery, uh, get into the mystery of finding this uh, piece of equipment. I can't think of the actual thing that they uh, Han might have took from the guy, but uh, I'll get back to y'all in my review review of that. So starts off with the book, like I say, it is damn good read. Some of the we got a lot of behind the scene things that we haven't seen from Han and Leia. Lando's writing is just great. That's probably the that's probably the shine of the book so far for me is Lando's uh the writing for Lando. Just every time I get to a part of Lando's, I'm just I'm laughing and all this stuff. It's just 
Lando's part is great. And we get some uh, Chewie as well um, in the book as well. Don't want to miss Chewie. He could, that happened to him enough in the movies. But that'll be all for this video. It's not a lot of news. You know, Lucasfilm gone. They quiet storm before a movie is released. This book, I, I'll be back in a couple days with my review of the book. Also, don't forget to leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. Really helps the channel a lot. Really appreciate it. Thanks for all the love. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.